All right, in the last video we talked about subqueries in the WHERE clause, and this time we're going to explore putting them in the FROM clause. So in our first example, what is our largest order total? Well, to get the order total using our bookstore database, we've got to sum the quantity times paid each. And basically I'm asking for, in this question, what is the max of that sum? So there's going to be two ways to get it. I'm going to do it because we're demonstrating subqueries. Well, I'm going to do it through a subquery. So when I run that query down here, I get the order number and the sum of the quantity times paid each for each of those orders. So reviewing that real quick, notice I have a group by clause right here that says sum this across the order number. So that gives me the order total. All right, now I want to know which is the max one. I mentioned there's two ways. One way would be to simply order by, use an order by clause, and then um, you could order by the order total, and then use what's called a limit one um, phrase or clause in there that would then just show me the top row. But let's talk about subqueries. The other way to do it is literally I do want to take a max. I want to take a max of this order total column. Okay, so in essence, uh, this, the result of my first query right down here is a little table. I'm going to treat it like a little table. I'm going to put it in a from clause, and I'm going to take a max of that column. So here we go. My strategy is to select that query, control copy, and I already have written, typed out my from clause, and I've got my parentheses. Subqueries always go inside parentheses, and I just paste it in there. I paste in the above query. I'm going to tab it over just for looks. And now I am going to select max. And one thing I should mention, when you put subqueries in a from clause, they always have to be aliased. Always. So um, this time I said as, and I just say sq for subquery. So there he is, my subquery, and you always have to alias it. And now I can go sq dot and order total. Does you have an order total? I'm not seeing it, so whatever. I'm just going to go sq dot order total. And what I'm referring to is the alias that I've given the sum quantity times paid each. So um, when doing aliases, never put in spaces on these alias because I want to refer to them in my outer query and if you have a space in there it doesn't work so now I'm gonna go find the max of the table that's being displayed down here now of course I say the word table in quotes because really it's just a, a query that generated this output but I'm gonna treat that output like a table and find the max of this particular column so there you go I'll hit run and there is the uh, max value for all of the orders. So now I have that one number. What if I wanted to know what is the order number that has that max total? Okay, well I'm going to run up and run our original query. So now I want to know which of these orders has that max value. Okay, and by the way it could be more than one, right? I could maybe have two orders with that exact same number. So remember, how do I limit, see these are groups, right? I group by order number and I have an order total. How do I limit those groups? Well, it's the having clause. So why don't I take, add a having clause to my very original query and I want to say show me all the orders and get rid of the groups except those where, um, by using the having clause, those that have that max value. So in other words, it could look like this. I'm going to take my original query, control copy, I'll move down here, control paste. I am now going to add a having clause, and I'm going to say it has a sum quantity, right, that equals the max. Well, we know the max is 335.85 as of today, but who knows, maybe that will change on tomorrow's order, right? So I don't want to hard code the max. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a subquery that calculates the max. I have it right here. So I put my open and close parens, 
I select everything. This remember this query when I run it gives me my three three five point eight five. So I'm gonna select all of that, control copy, and I bink, put it in between the two parentheses. And only for readability, I'm gonna tab that all over. And so now I can see the order number and the sum quantity, and I'm limiting the groups with my having clause. So there we go. 1007 has that value. Now, as I mentioned, I could have done that a lot quicker just by going order by um, order total. And I want that to be descending, and then you can do a limit one, and I would end up with the same results. But what this doesn't do is if I had multiple orders with that exact same number, right? Then I'd have to put limit two or limit three, and who knows what that limit number needs to be, right? The limit just limits the number of rows that are being displayed. Whereas the longer method is going to find all the groups that equal 335.85. And in this database, it so happens it'll only be one, but potentially it could be more than one. So let's do a couple more examples. So basically, we just put a subquery in the from clause, and then we used it again in the having clause. So here's the, the question. I want to know the average number of books purchased by a customer, and then show me the customers whose quantity of books purchased is above average. So ultimately, this is the real question. Show me all the customers who've purchased books, um, the quantity of books above average. So. Basically, I break these exercises up into three steps. The first step is I just need to see, give me my customers and how many they've purchased, right? And in this case, how many books they've purchased is in the quantity field of the order items table, right? Because I want their last name and first name, that's coming from the customer table. So I'm just going to run through here and I start with that query and I, I hit run. I'm grouping by last name and first name. And I go, all right. Here's how many books each of these people have purchased. And in essence, what I'm asking is what is the average of this column, quantity purchased? Right, so I've summed the quantity. Now I want to find the average of that column. So I will use this query as a, in the from clause. So all I did was copy that, and I ran down here, and between my two prints, I pasted it. That's it. Don't forget, every subquery in the from clause needs to be aliased. So I gave it an alias as SQ, all right, for subquery. So there you go. I have my original query down here. I put it in the from clause. And now I'm just going to take an average of the quantity purchased column. So this is going to return a single number. So I'll run that. And there's the average of that column. On average, people tend to buy 2.8571 books. So step three then is finally getting to the original question is show me the customers who buy more books than average. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I now know the average. My original query showed me the customers and how many books they purchased. And so now I'm gonna say, these are groups, right? I had to group it because there's a sum clause and I've grouped it by people's names. And so now I'm saying, show me these groups where the quantity purchased is above average. So basically these first few people would be in. The guy, Leela Smith here with two is out. Greg is out. Thomas is out. Steve's out, right? You get the idea. So I want to limit these groups with by using this average Thing, this average um, subquery. So here we go. Step three. This is my original query. Last name, first name, some quantity, right? I'm grouping by last name, first name. All I did was take my original query and add a having clause. And I'm saying the sum quantity has to be greater than, and this was the average that we just ran. I'll tab this over so it's a little more obvious. This was step two. Step two is the query that gave us our number. So 
I'm going to scoot that back because that's not part of the subquery. I can run this subquery and see and make it work and go, okay, I'm getting my number, 2.8571. Perfect. So now I will run the whole thing, and I've added an order by clause to this outer query. And there are all the people who've purchased books above average. Just to switch it up a little bit, let's ask this question. What customers placed orders which are higher than our average order total? So before it was all about how many books they purchased, the sum of the quantity. This time I want to talk about dollar amount. Okay, And so show me all the customers who, whose order totals are above average basically. Well, step one, I need to get a list of the order totals. Right, And I have to do that using the sum, but this time I'm summing the quantity times paid each. So I'm just going to group on order number, and when I run this, it's nothing but order numbers and their totals. Cool. So I'm asking for what orders are above average. All right, well then I'll just take an average of this column I'm seeing right here, average of the order total. And by the way, I mean, you could write all of where we're ultimately ending up is this huge query down here. But the point of this is writing that all in one fell swoop can be overwhelming. And so you just write it in pieces. And so I, as students, I try to give you step one, step two, step three, little pieces that you can kind of see what's going on as you work towards the final solution. So in this case, I have a column, the order number and the total, and I want to take an average of this column. So I grab my original query, control copy, and I run down here and put it in between two parentheses and hit paste. All right. And then every time I have to label that or alias that query. So let me scoot that over. And again, just for legibility, I'll scoot that over and make that a little better. So now um, this query is going to give me a single number. It is the average of all of these totals. So when I run that, there's my number. On average, our total amount is $80.38. So then the question is, what customers have an order total that's higher than that? So now basically, I could have just done what we've done before, which was take this query and now add a having clause. And for the most part, that is what I did. But I want the customer name. So right here I have the order number. That was our original query. Well, all I did was add the customer name. And in order to do that, what it meant I had to add the customer table, join it to the orders table using customer num. And then, of course, quantity times paid each is in the order items table. And then my group by clause was originally just the order num. Well, yeah, because I have all three of these up here, I'm going to have to group by the customer and the order num. All right? And then the whole point was, now show me all of those people whose orders are above average. So, let me tab this over. If I were to just run the beginning of that query through the group by, these are the customers, their orders, and how much the order total was. All right. So now I'm saying, don't show me everybody. Show me only the people where this order total is above average. So there I go into my having clause. I'm saying eliminate some groups. Only show me those that are above average. So how did I get this? I ran back up here where we got the average. Right? Control, copy. And then I ran down here and put it in between two parentheses. So I just hit paste in between those two parentheses. And that's how that showed up. So now I'm going to see all the customers who... Um, are above average in terms of their order totals. I think the average was 83 something, so these guys are showing up, but not everybody is here. And finally, just to make a crazy point, remember how I said a, the output of a select clause can be a table in another query, right? We can use the output of, of one subquery as in the from clause of another. So in essence, I have people's names or order number and order total. What if I wanted to know the books that are purchased on the orders when the order total is above average? Well, I already have a little table, if you will, right here, right? I can see it. And here's the order number and the order total. And so there's several ways of doing this. But my point is, I could use this in a from clause. And you can join to this thing. So basically, that big, huge query up above is right 
down here all pasted in, right? So the one we did with the having clause and everything is now sitting right here. I am going to join that to order items using order num, right? I have a common column between this subquery and my order item table, and that's order num. And then, of course, I can join um, that to books using ISBN because the order item table has the ISBN in it. So quite literally, this subquery in the from clause can be joined to just as if it was a live table in your database, right? In essence, it's kind of a virtual table that we create on the fly. So I'm going to join what we see down here on order num to the order item table, join that to books. And now, of course, I can select the order number and title. And by the way, if I sort this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 11, 12. So now I'm going to see all the books we purchased on those orders. So I hit run on that. And now um, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, right in the books that were purchased. So now I not only know who bought books where our order, their order, order totals above average, but I can even see what books were on those orders. All right, I don't think I'll do any more examples of this, but just remember, anytime you want to uh, do an average of a count or a max of a sum or an average of a sum, um, you're going to have to do a subquery and a from clause. And keep it simple. Step one, just try to get the information. Uh, do your sum, do your count, do what the, the original query. And then I want to take a max of that sum or an average of that sum or an average of the count, whatever the original query is. So that's step two. And then very often you're looking to then limit the original groups to show me people who are above average at some point. So then I'm just going to use that second query in step three and use that whole thing in a having clause. And you're applying it against your, your original query of step one. Just say, show me all the groups who are above average. And right here, I'm doing the original sum. Well, now I only want to see those sums that are above average. And it's in step two that I found the average. So uh, powerful to use. And also recall, every time you put a subquery in a from clause, you have to alias it. And it acts just like a table. So down here, you saw where I um, eventually joined to that table. Right, I stuck the subquery right down here, I aliased it, and then I joined to it to get more information. So really, um, they're just they're very powerful, and there's a lot you can do with them.